This little device right here is called the Super G Nano Transmitter, and it's going to change ELRS technology forever. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis and today I'm gonna to give you a review and mini tutorial on the brand new Beta FPV Super G Nano Transmitter. This can plug into pretty much any radio out there on the market as long as you're running Edge TX 2.8 and higher. It also supports Gemini technology which in, when you pair it up with your Nano Super Nano D receivers, you have diversity on there, which is pretty neat because the, the Gemini technology, what it does is it supports two frequencies at once. Um, that gives us true diversity on a transmitter now, which is not really heard of before. Most of these other transmitters out there support one antenna and they are singular transmission modules only. This one supports two antennas at the same time. And what that does is it supports two different frequencies and it allows up to one watt Per frequency which is kind of amazing so what does that do it makes your connection to your quad your plane or your wing that much better it, it's twice as good as having a single antenna so we're gonna open up this box together we're gonna check out the super G transmitter and I'm gonna show you some of the accessories that can come along with it and the receivers that are compatible with the super G transmitter so let's go ahead and jump over to the bench right now and we're gonna nerd out today on some serious seriously cool FPV technology here we go Okay guys, this is the box that I got. And inside the box is the module, the two antennas. But first I'm gonna show you the accessories that come in the box. This is the Super D manual that comes with it. Just kind of some general information about how receivers hook up, some of the specs in here and which receivers are compatible. I know that the Super P and the Super D receivers are compatible. Both of those do have diversity on board. We also get a cable here for firmware update to the module. So this is a USB-C module. The module itself also has USB port on the bottom. And we also get a USB-C cable to XT30 right here, which is kind of nice. This can be powered up to 13 volts. So it seems that we could use a 3S battery. We also get a little bit of heat shrink in here, some 3M sticky tape as well as a support card in the box as well. And last but not least, a Futaba cable with a male connector on the end. The Super G module weighs in at about 43.3 grams. If we add one antenna on there, it weighs 50.3 grams. If we add the second antenna on there, it's going to weigh in at right around 56.6 grams. And with the full-size converter, it weighs in at 82.1 grams. Now I'm going to give you kind of an introduction to what the Super G is all about. It is a one watt module, but what's neat about this is it can support dual frequency capability and transmit one watt on each frequency. That's why you see two antennas here. The module itself is made out of CNC aluminum, so it kind of acts like a heat sink as well as an internal fan inside. We have an LED status indicator here, and we have two buttons on board for multi-mode functions. They have the Beta FPV logo there, the pins that plug into the nano module, and you can see the back of the case itself also has all aluminum on the back, so that's kind of cool. And on the very bottom, we have our USB-C port for plugging in a power module or firmware updates. And now I have it plugged into my Radio Master Boxer in the back in the full size module bay with the adapter on here. If you don't see any light, what you need to do is go into your radio's settings in your model settings, page over in the model and go to the very bottom and make sure that external RF is set to on. When you do that, you'll see the module come active. We're gonna select Crossfire here. And when we do that CRSF, the baud rate is at 400K. And to be able to use one watt power on the dual channels here, on the dual frequency, you need to set the baud rate higher to 400K. So let's go set it up to 921. That way, when we use one watt per frequency, it's going to work out perfectly and we won't have any module errors. The Super G uses the same RF chips as the Nano TX and the Micro TX inside with the exception that it has dual chips inside this one. It's the SX128X chip. Now there are a couple ways to get it into bind mode. You can go through the system menus as well inside the ELRS Lua scripting inside the system menus. You can also press the left button three times, one, two, three, and it should change the indicator color as you can see it momentarily changed. So it goes into bind, one, two, three, 
and you can see it one two three very similar to the same bind function as turning on the quad three times and also using the left button you can long press for about a half second and you'll see it change it will increase the power one you can hear the fan actually kick on and each time you do that it's changing the power so we're powering up each time the right button on the other side will go to the vx vtx channel menu if we short press two times one two it will enter into the VTX channel so you can change channels. Once you get on the channel that you want, you can long press it for another half second on the right side and that will select that channel. And the Super G did come to me with ELRS 3.3, so any of my receivers, I'm gonna have to update those to 3.3 to be compatible with this module. Now this is the Super D receiver that I got as well from Beta FPV for using with my Super G module. This says 2.4 on here because, well, the, the module, the Super G is running 2.4, one watt diversity. And you see two antennas on here. They're kind of long, which is nice. They have UFL connectors right here, so they can be replaced. As well as a direct pin out, you can get this little pin and use this. It comes in the box as well with the 2.4 receiver that can plug in right there. And then you can use your Futaba style plugs, but it has to be a four pin layout for that supporting four wires this is the crsf style uh, four pin uh, four plug pin out right there and it hooks up on the back side you can do a direct solder as well ground five volt tx and rx there and remember going to your receiver you're just going to switch tx and rx here to make it become active inside the receiver tab in beta flight so again the most important thing about this whole product is antenna diversity true diversity and gemini support on here it's pretty awesome that with a TX, we can now get dual packet frequency support. Um, this means that your packets coming to your quad, back to your radio, are going to be much more stable um, than something where you're running a single packet antenna receiver um, or, or, or transmitter. Uh, so that, that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, and it is compatible with single antenna receivers as well. So uh, if you don't have a true diversity antenna, that doesn't mean that you can't use um, a singular receiver, antenna receiver on there. You don't have to have just the, the Super P or the Super D. Um, I did clarify that with Beta FPV. So that's kind of cool that you can use the single or the dual packet antenna receivers. That's, that's kind of nice. But I'm going to show you this graph here right now, and it's kind of going to give you a basic breakdown of the antenna diversity, true diversity in, in the Gemini section. So basic antenna RX and TX setup is a singular antenna where you have the single packet. It's on the same frequency. And then antenna diversity here, you can see with the RX, you got you can have two antennas, but you only have one active um, in antenna diversity. Um, with a single packet on the TX and on the same frequency. That's, you know, that's getting you up to three stars. When you have true diversity, you have two antennas that are working too active on the same frequency and a single packet relay between the receiver and the TX. Um, and they're both on the, f the same frequency again. But what Gemini does is, all right, this is where it's getting really cool, is that Gemini has supports two antennas, two active, and we have dual frequency. So we're getting double the packets and dual frequency on there. So um, dual frequency support, that's pretty extreme right there. So that's probably gonna be your best connection between your receiver and your module um, in the history of ELRS. So that's, that's really groundbreaking to be able to have that much packet support. That means you're gonna go further with your long range. That means also if you're flying in an area, if you're doing FPV racing, you're gonna have a better connection to your quad. You're not gonna, you're probably not gonna kind of experience um, receiver loss from your radio, which is really, really awesome. So I, I'm, I'm excited to test this on a little more range flying on my personal time um, with my quads and my wings and as ELRS progresses. I think this is, is definitely groundbreaking and game changing for the ELRS community. Um, I, I think this is great. You can totally nerd out with this and you can go super deep with ELRS. And now that we have Gemini, uh, this, this really does give us much, much more solid connection to our radio uh, from our receivers. So this is super, super cool. If you wanna check this one out down in the link below, you can grab one for 70 bucks and you can get black, red, or gray 
Uh, I kind of like the red one. I wish they would have sent me the red one. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take the black because, hey, this is my first Gemini transmitter ever. And, uh, yeah, that's super cool. And uh, I'm looking forward to um, seeing how this works out on all of my aircraft. So stay tuned, guys, for more reviews and technical explanations right here on the channel. Be sure to check out FPV West coming up because we have an event now that's sponsored by Drone Camps and... We have a ton of fun. We all fly together. We uh, make new friends and uh, we had just have a great day out flying and listening to music and talking to FPV all day. It's it's so much fun to meet everybody at the FPV West meetups. So that's that's a ton of fun. You can find our Facebook link down below. And uh, as always, you know, check out my links for the Super G Nano transmitter. I think that this is a total game changer for the FPV community, especially people that are stoked on the ELRS. Guys, take care, and I will see you on the next one.